When we started getting more and more work out in Rowlett, I asked all of our contractors if they were ready, you know, if they could handle it. We are a mid-sized business. Um, after the tornadoes hit, we obviously had to scale up, but it was pretty easy because of the network of people that we have. So we were able to send out messages and just say, hey, it's time to gear up. We understand the way the insurance does their estimates. We understand how insurance works. We understand the policies. We understand the limits of policies. We understand what's required to, to document and how you get uh, certain items covered under insurance. This house, once we uncovered the siding and the tarping, we realized that the second floor exterior walls had twisted, which caused damage to all, you know, the brick and the, the siding and the roof. Common mistakes a homeowner makes is they hire the first person that comes out. You have to do your proper research. When This is a huge decision for people, huge. To me, a bad contractor is one that shows up at the date of loss. If the fire trucks are still there and a contractor shows up, that would be one I wouldn't use. Okay, hello. Hey, I'll be there at 1, 112. Take the next left. I didn't come out here the first time. Well, there's less to see now. Looters got me there tonight. Oh, did they? Yeah. I well. spent night here last night. <laughs> okay. <sighs> uh, I have a whole file here for you. Here it is. Yep. We have to help people because people don't know what to do. So we walk them through calling the mortgage company and calling the insurance company and calling the utility company. It's critical that they know what to do. You don't want the whole thing? Yeah, give me the whole yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. We always tell people to insure their home for more than it's worth. 112 to $122 a square foot is adequate insurance. That's going to cover a large fire. It's going to cover a storm. I mean, we've talked to people who are like, well, we can get a house built for $60 a square foot. Yeah, but you're not tearing down this one. You're not paying for the architecture fees. You're not paying for the engineers. Tornado, there's a ton of hidden damage that you can't see until you've exposed it. It's all the gutters match really nice. I am so grateful for gutters. <laughs> My relationships with homeowners are very important. I see them every day. If I don't see them, I text them. Because we're going to be friends for six months during the rebuild. Well, let's go look at the inside, and then uh, we'll take a look at Yeah, it looks great. Yeah. The interior looks good. The exterior looks good. Okay, I have one problem. Uh-oh. That blind that fell is still laying, lying down there. A lot of the homeowners, they don't have somebody to turn to. If it's a mini blind that has fallen or if it is a, a wand on a mini blind that's fallen, they don't know how to fix it. So when they put their trust in me, it's important to do that kind of stuff. Okay, we can go look at it. Let's see, everything in this house is falling apart, just like me. This isn't a car wreck. This is a huge loss for their home, something that they've worked all their lives for. We're never going to eliminate the trauma that they were in a tornado. But what we can do is when they get home every day after their house is rebuilt, that they forget that they had a huge loss.